Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever KPC Youth Instagram Live video, which we plan to run every day at 8 p.m. for the next few weeks while we get used to the new season we are all experiencing. Feel free to comment while we are talking. We promise that each stream will run for no longer than eight minutes. And we want to encourage you to consider using two minutes afterwards to pray and ask God for anything he might want you to be hearing. Are you willing to commit 10 minutes each day to studying God's word and spending some time in prayer? We hope that some of you might be. We plan to start with a question each night, so here is the first one. Where do you access living water from wells in the wilderness? Many of you will just have heard that your schools are closing soon if they're not closed already, and that GCSE and A-level exams are not now taking place in May and June this year. I think we are all feeling like this is such a strange time to be living in at the moment. It feels a little like being lost in the desert. God gave a picture to Jeff Lanham at the 6.30 evening service at Knoll Parish Church last Sunday, which he then shared with those of us who were there. A man was drinking at a well in the desert. We were then encouraged to reflect on how we could stay connected with each other and God during the challenging times ahead. During these unprecedented times of social isolation, there will be times when we all feel disconnected. So there is no better time to reflect on how we can stay socially, emotionally, and spiritually replenished. Let's hear Jesus's perspective on this from John's Gospel. It's found in John chapter four, verses one to the end, just in case you wanna follow. Jesus talks with a Samaritan woman. Now Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Although in fact, it was not Jesus who baptized, but his disciples. So he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. And Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? for Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself? as did also his sons and his flocks and herds. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink the water I gave, give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. He told her, go, call your husband and come back. I have no husband, she replied. Jesus said to her, you are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands and the man you have now is not your husband. What you have just said is quite true. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. 
God is spirit and his worshippers must worship in the spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. Now, I've spent time in some pretty hot countries like Moldova, Mexico and Indonesia. But I think the thirstiest experience I've ever had was running along a canal near my childhood home in Sheffield. I had decided to set out on a 13 mile run so that I could see if my body was ready for a 26 mile marathon. My body might have been ready, but unfortunately I was not smart enough to bring plenty of water with me to stay hydrated. After a couple of hours of jogging through the early morning mist, I realised how foolish I had been not to plan ahead. And yes, I did end up needing to drink from the canal in order to make it back home. Definitely not something I would recommend to anyone listening. So I know how it feels to be physically dehydrated. And in a similar way, when we go through wilderness experiences in life, it is imperative to stay emotionally and spiritually hydrated. So where might your wells be? Are you finding ways to stay connected with your friends and family who may be isolated at this time or in the weeks ahead? Do you find worship is something that lifts and replenishes you? Would keeping a journal help you communicate with God? Perhaps God might encourage you to be a source of living water to people in your local community who are feeling lost in the wilderness. What can you do to demonstrate the love of Jesus to your neighbours? Each day from tomorrow, we will be reading a chapter from Luke's Gospel, then reflecting on what God might be saying to us from it. So hopefully God's word will become a well in the wilderness for some of you. If any of you are struggling in any way, then please stay connected with us so that we can spend time together around the wells in the wilderness we will experience together. Thanks for joining us this evening. See you at the same time tomorrow and feel free to check out these videos on YouTube as we will post them each evening. Look out for those wells in the wilderness and please let us know where to find them. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.